What's up everybody, it's Pia. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to learn about components. In previous video, we learned about how to create components and how to use them. But in this video, we are going to learn about more on components, like uh, what kind of things you can do with the components. Let's say you are designing an app, a browser app, and uh, you have multiple pages like this. And uh, you have icons like this and uh, you have to use these icons on this both top page like uh, let's say i want to add this youtube icon so i'm going to just select it and let's move it on the this frame like this let's add this both of these icons and we also want these same icons on the next page let's duplicate it using alt or uh, on mac it is option key like this but i want to change the color of this icon like youtube icon so i'm gonna go into fill and let's change it change it into the red okay the color is changed now you can see the red color but uh, at the same time i also want to like uh, change the color of this icon also but uh, i have to do it again so so in this case the components is gonna help us let's move this icons on the this blank space also this one and select the icon and i already told you how to create a component so go on the top top bar menu select this diamond button and click on it and you now have a component so how will you know this is a component or not so if you zoom on this you can see the little diamond icon on it and also it is written over here this is the component and this is also called as a master component or parent component so if you go into asset panel then you can see our youtube logo it is now component you can just drag it like this and place it on wherever you want like this so let's make this instagram also a component and this paypal icon so and this let's make this also the component the plus button so these are the components now we can just drag it like this place it wherever you want like this so what i want to do is that let's place this icon also on the next frame press alt and drag it on the next frame like this this is the master component and these are the children component and uh, what i want to do is that i want to change the color of this and this so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to click uh, i'm going to select this master component and go into this design panel and click on this selection color so currently it is black color and i want to change it into like red so i'm going to just drag it this button on the red and you can see the master component color is changed and also the child component color is also changed on the frame one and also on the frame two so because of this uh, you don't have to change the color again and again on the different frames let's make the navigation panel and we can just add uh, all the elements on it and we have we are, we are going to create that navigation panel into components so we don't have to like drag it on the second pan panel again and again so let's create a navigation panel let's choose a rectangle you can press r for the shortcut okay let's create simple navigation panel like this so we created this na navigation bar so you can see in the layer section in the first frame iphone 11 pro max 1 the rectangle is on the top so we if we uh, if i drag this youtube uh, youtube icon on this bar then it is not going to display you can see here so if i move this rectangle on the downside like this at the end of the frame and if i drag this youtube icon again on the navigation panel and you can see the logo is visible now so let's drag this icon one by one okay the navigation panel is created so let's select this and you can press on the component button to create component so now this is the component and you can see the component in the asset panel inside iphone 11 pro max 1 
let's say uh, if I move this outside of this frame so it is now universal component and you can just drag it on the frame like this you can adjust it so these components and these components are totally different we made uh, this on the navigation panel then after we created a component so these are the different if i delete this one you can see the ma uh, master component from the asset, asset panel is deleted now but not from the this navigation panel so that's kind of stuff you can do with a uh, component so that's it for today's video and i will see you guys in the next one